So before we were doing linear regression in the form y on x, and now I'm going to try to show you how to do x on y. I like this, using statistics to prove a point is just mean. I'm just going to try to remind you what we've done before. So just as this is a review. Okay, just keep that in mind so far. This is just uh, you know to make sure you remember what we did before. If we're doing regression of y on x, what that means is we were getting an equation in the form, uh, let's say, y equals ax plus b. That was sort of the, the main idea here, okay? So that meant that if we had some sort of x value here and some y value here, and we had some data, maybe some data points like this, we were trying to estimate some sort of equation that could match this. So it would basically tell you, hey, given an x value, you can then use it to predict the y value, okay? So that's what we were doing here. So it allows you to know the y given some sort of x value. Well, now what we're going to do is do something different. We're going to do a regression of x on y, which means we're going to get an equation now that goes x equals a y plus b. So this time it's in this form. Do you see the difference here? So we just reverse the, or we flip the x's and y's. You see we replace them. So the x's become y's, the y's become x's. We're still trying to find some constant a and something b. So this would be the case if we're graphing something like y here and then an x here and maybe it looks like i don't know maybe again something similar maybe something like a bunch of data points and we're trying to do this regression so this may sound a little bit uh, silly and crazy uh, but we can totally do this we do the same thing that we've done before okay so we would put everything into a list and the x's and y's the proper x's and y's um, but then when we do our linear regression, you see your calculator can't really do a linear regression of x on y, it can only do y on x. But it's okay, what you do is you make your x's and y's like you normally would. This is the last part right here, this is the only important part, is you swap your x's and y's when it's time. So when your calculator says give me the y, you actually tell it the x. When it tells me give me the x, you actually tell it the y. And then it'll do your linear regression, and that's how you'll do it. Um, there's one last thing, I like this, don't be mean, be above average. Uh, it's a normal distribution curve joke. Uh, you can't always make a prediction then of what y will be given an x value if you use an x on y regression. In other words, if you did this right here, if I give you y, you can know what x is, but I give you x, you can't necessarily know what y is. That's sort of an interesting thing from it. Uh, the mean point, this is maybe the really important part here, the regression of y on x and the regression of y on, uh, sorry, x on y and y on x. So it's these two different regressions, okay? So if I do this one like we're learning about now or the one that we've done before, they both pass through what's called the mean point. The mean point, what's that? That's the average x, average y. That's what this is. This is really important, okay? So they'll both, they both pass through this same point. That means if I'm just looking at the world of, you know, x's on the x-axis and y's on the y-axis, what that means is that if I have a bunch of data points like this right here, and I have my linear regression equation like this right here, it doesn't matter which one I do it, like that one right there, I know for sure though it'll pass through this point, maybe it's right here, this right here, this point right here will be, you know, the mean x, and this right here will be the mean y. Okay, so that will be this point right here. It'll for sure pass through. Okay, so it'll pass through that one point. And it turns out if you do the other one, the one where y is here and x is here, it'll pass through a point with y and x. And it turns out that'll be the same point. That's an interesting thing about the different linear regressions. So now it's time to do an example. So we have this following data. We've got x here and we've got y here. So first we want the linear regression of y on x in the form y equals ax plus b. And after that, we're going to do the other regression, this weirdo one we just learned about, x on y, in the form x equals ay plus b. And we're going to make these two different graphs, L1 and L2. Let me first show you how to do it. So step one, i got to put everything into my calculator. So I'll go into list, because I'm using a TI Inspire. And I'll call this column the actual x. I'll call it x, and I'll call the next one y. And that's going to be important. Let's call them what they really are. So this one's really x, this one's really y. All right, so my x's, let's see here. This goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 
And my other ones here, let's see, how do they go? They go two, three, three point three, four, five, and seven. All right, so first step, I wanna do linear regression, the regular kind we're used to. So I'm just gonna press menu and go to stats and say, please give me a calculation, give me the linear regression mx plus b. Boom, it asks me which one is my x. I tell it the proper x one because we're doing a regular regression here. The y one, I'm gonna make it the y. And I say go. So do you notice then what it tells me? It tells me that, let's see, it goes y equals mx plus b, so it goes point Let's say 906, so I'll say that, so y equals, y equals 0 0.906x, let's keep going here, what's the answer, um, plus 0.88. Okay, this is my equation for L1, that's what this is, this is my first equation here, this is L1. Okay, so now what I've done, I've just found my, yeah, my first equation, what they called L1. But now I've got to do, um, by the way, in case I wanted to know how good of a fit it was, well, it was a very strong positive fit, wasn't it, 0.963. Um, now we've got to do, this is the interesting one here, now I'm trying to do this new one, which is going to be L2, and it's going to be x equals something y, you know, I'm going to just leave a space here. and Well, I'll just leave it like this. Let's see what's going to happen here. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do some more magic here. I'm going to say, give me some statistics, give me a calculation, and give me a linear regression, mx plus b. However, it wants the x's. What I'm going to feed it, it turns out, I'm going to give it the y. This is the hard, this is the weird part. And when it wants a y, I tell it the x. When I do it like this, this is my new one. So do you notice now it goes 1.02, so I'll say that, so 1.02x, and how did the other one go? I went to minus 0.648, so minus 0 0.648. So this is my second equation. Okay, this is my L2. So you see I've done a linear regression of y on x, and now I've done this new one, x on y. All right, so what can I do with this, by the way? Um, well, now we're told that L1 and L2 pass through some point. Ah, but I know what that point is. Remember what I showed you here? They both pass through the mean point. So I know they will both pass through the mean point. That's the key to doing this. So P, whoops, I'll say this. P is going to be the mean point. What does that mean? That means it's average x, average y. And it doesn't matter which one I use, okay? It actually, in fact, it doesn't matter. They're both gonna pass through this one point here. They might pass through other things, but the one thing we know for sure is they'll pass through this. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try to find, I'm gonna do some statistics on this here, I'm gonna try to find, you know, with this big list of x values right here, you know, sorry, uh, whoops, it's not just x, I'm gonna, Attempt to just do some stats on just this x value to try to find what's x mean. I'm going to separately try to find out and do some statistics on just y and find out what's the y mean. I'm going to try to figure out those values, okay? So I'm going to try to figure them out. Let's see if I can do them on my calculator. So I can just go over here and say, all right, well, there's my x's, right? Um, so I'm going to do menu and I'm going to do statistics and I want to do some one of our stats. So I want to do some one variable statistics on just x. So only, there's a lot of stuff it's figured out. I only want x. Give me that. Whoops. I didn't want to put it under a new column actually. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll put it on a different column and I'll say to just put it somewhere else. I'll maybe put it on D. Maybe that'll be, uh, you know what? I'll put it on C. I'll give it there. So I'll say give me some stats on one variable statistics on this one, it's just because I was telling it to overwrite something that I didn't want to overwrite. So do the x's, that's true, but put it somewhere else. Put it maybe on, I don't know, C instead. That's fine with me. Go, put it there. I'm gonna say, yeah, go ahead. So this will now overwrite. So you see it did C and it said, oh, the average x is 21. Can you see that right there? That's the, is that right? 
No, that's not the average x, that's the sum of all the x's. Whereas the average x, I just gotta scroll up. Ah, there it is. The average x is 3.5, so I'm gonna write that down. So the average x is 3.5. I figured that out. And then my average y, let's figure that out as well. So I'm gonna do some more stats. And this time I'll put it again on C, I don't care if I override it. So I'm gonna go menu, give me some stats, give me some one variable statistics. I'm going to say this time, give me the statistics on Y. I want to know just what Y is doing. And put it somewhere else. Yeah, you know what? Put it on C. I'll put it right on top of where it was before. Boom. Yes, go ahead and erase it. Hey, this is 4.05. Now, that's the average. Now, don't think about the X. It just says it's the average. So the average Y value, because we're doing it on the Ys, the average Y value is 4.05. So I know that's 4.05. So there we go, that's my mean point. I know then that, I'll write it down then. So, P is gonna be just 3.5 comma 4.05. I'm done. This is the answer. So to see how we were able to do this really weird uh, linear regression of X on Y. Remember what we did? We just had to give it the mean point, sorry. We had to swap the x's and y's here when we're trying to do the linear regression. So this might seem really strange. It is a little bit strange, to be honest. But um, the important thing is they both will pass through the mean point. So if you asked about some point they pass through, that's the average x and the average y. It'll pass through there.